Hey everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the channel where we break down complex Salesforce concepts to help you master this platform. And today I'm going to be talking to you about queues. Yes, I'm going to talk to you about Salesforce queues. So what exactly are Salesforce queues? By the end of this video, you will know what Salesforce queues are. You will know how to use them. You will know how to create Salesforce queues. You will know how to route things to Salesforce queues. All right, so let's get started. Okay, friends, so I have logged into Salesforce and as promised, we are going to cover what queues are. All right, so the first thing that you do is log into Salesforce and if you do not see the screen, all you have to do is click on this cog and click on setup. Okay, friends, so this is going to open a new tab and this is where we want to start. All right, so let's click on queues. Let's close this out. Let's click on click queues. All right, so before we start, let's understand what are queues, right? So queues are like waiting room for your records. Let's assume that there's a company and that company has products. All right. So the products are going to break. There are going to be customers who are going to have questions on, on, on products, right? So you can assume, or you can think that cases are going to get created from several channels. It could be through phone. It could be through email. It could be several mediums through chat as well. So these cases are going to get created and they're coming into Salesforce. All right. We know that there's these number of cases cannot be handled by one particular agent. So what happens is companies will create queues. All right. So these cases will go into a particular queue. These queues are owned by, or there are members of this queue. There are service agents. So let's assume you get hundred cases in a particular queue. When you get hundred cases in a particular queue, and let's say there are 50 agents in that queue. Each agent can work on two cases. So there are two distinct advantages with queues. One is that you can share workload. The second distinct advantage is that you can resolve cases faster. Another example is sales. Let's say you go out, you go on a website and you fill some form and leads get generated, right? When these leads get generated, they go into a specific queue. All right. And then the inside sales representatives can call these customers or prospective customers and understand what their requirements are so that they can turn these leads into customers quickly. Now, one thing to know, and if you are preparing for an administrator exam is that queues are supported on several objects, but there's one object that cannot be owned by a queue. And that object is the account object because account always needs a user to own the account. All right, so let's get started. As you can see here, the Salesforce does a fantastic job on description. If you need to know more about queues, you can always click on help for this page. Right now we're going to click on queue. Okay. The first thing is we're going to give it a label. So let's call it, um, email queue. Okay. I hit tab and an API name is generated. All right. We are not going to have a queue email at this point. Queue description, this queue will hold cases that where cases where origin is email. All right. Next, this is basically ask, asking us what object is this queue for? In our case, the use case is simple. Cases get created via email. I want this to route to a particular queue or the, in this case, a specific queue is email underscore queue. All right. So I'm going to go here, click on case, select this. Okay. Now this is my demo org. So I only have three specific three users in your, in your org, you can have multiple users. So I'm going to go here and say Sujay Nadkarni, which is me is going to be part of this queue. Okay. If you have more users, you can absolutely add more users to this queue. All right. And then I'm going to click on save. That's it. This is your first queue creation process. It's as simple as that. All right. The next thing that we want to do is we actually want to test this to see if it even works. Okay. Before we do the whole automation piece, I want to show you. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to click on case and let's create a new case. 
okay let's click on new and i'm going to call it the test case okay this is not going to get automatically routed i just want to show you what the how the owner can be selected so in this case case origin is email okay and i'm going to select let's actually not put anything here test case number one and then i'm going to click on save okay now this case is created typically when a case is created the case owner is a user in our case you can always change this to queues and let's see if our queues is available email there you go and then i can click on change owner so what happens as a result of this is this case is not now owned by sujay narkarni this case is now in a waiting room right which we call the queue it is owned it is it is waiting in that queue for some other advisor or the agent or service representatives to accept so let's go here by the way another thing to notice is whenever you create a queue a list view is generated remember what i told you it's a waiting room for records so we did not even create this list view we created a queue once we created that queue a list view was generated so i'm going to click here and there you go okay now the next piece this is a bonus okay so if you watch till now don't pause first if you think that the video has provided value make sure that you subscribe to this channel because i will post daily content or weekly content uh, on salesforce analytics i post almost daily content on on youtube shorts as well as instagram so if this video is providing value make sure that you hit the subscribe button now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to automate this process because i want you to see how uh, case assignment rules work okay so this is not just a video on queues this is queues plus list views plus uh, the case assignment rule again we want to do the configuration piece so i'm going to click on setup go to setup it opens a new tab now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go here and do case assignment okay what are case assignment rules we are setting up rules inside salesforce so whenever a case gets created when a condition is met we want those cases to automatically go to a specific queue okay so i'm going to click a new one there's already a standard one we will deactivate it because again this is a system administrator question if you're preparing for administrator uh you can only have one case assignment rule you cannot have multiple case assignment one case assignment rule that can have multiple entries so i'm going to select this as active and call this case email actually let's just call it case routing rules because eventually you might have multiple criteria click on save okay look at this as soon as i made this active this became inactive now i'm going to go here and i'm going to create a new rule entry okay so a rule entry is what we want sort order is one this is we only have one so we are going to do this uh, when do you want this rule to run so we want this rule to run when the case origin is equal to email and what do we want to do whenever this happens we want this case to be assigned to a to a email queue all right that's it that's it so going forward whenever we create a case whether it comes manually or through email to case a, the case as of immediately upon creation is going to get assigned to a queue okay so i'm going to go here and click on save okay that's it we've created this case assignment rule now let's put this to test and see if it actually works so before i do that i'm going to go here click on case okay now let's do two things first is we should do a positive testing and negative testing so let's start with the negative testing i'm going to go here and select case origin as phone because if it is some other origin i do not want this case routed to that queue all right so i'm going to call this youtube demo origin is phone click on save all right the test passed the negative test passed we created a case with this and it worked okay now we are going to test the positive 
assignment, which means I'm going to simply click on clone. Okay. I'm going to click on clone. And as you can see, this checkbox assign using active assignment rule is already selected. So what this means is this case will be assigned using the assignment rule that we have created. So in this case, we want to see when I click on email, does this case get assigned to the email queue? Okay. So all I've done is I've simply went to that case. I clicked on clone. I changed the case uh, origin as email. I'm making sure that the assigning using active assignment rule is active. Okay. And then I'm going to click on, I'm going to change this. Click on save. Okay. Let's see. Okay. There you go. So when we cloned it, the active checkbox was true. The email queue is working correctly. Amazing. That's it. That's it. This is queue assignment. You can use this for anything, right? So what did we learn today? We learned what are queues. We created a queue. We allocated that queue to a particular object, which in this case was case. We assigned a member in this case, there was only one user, which was me, but you can assign multiple users to that queue. We saw how the list view works. Okay, which means whenever you create a queue, a list view is automatically created for you because it is considered as the waiting room. And finally, we tested this scenario. Actually, before that, we created a case assignment rule, right? Where we said whenever a case is created with the priority or with the origin as email, it should go to this queue. Then we tested that scenario. We tested a negative scenario where we created a case where the origin was phone and it worked. It did not actually go to this queue. And finally, we cloned that case. The only thing that we changed was the origin was email and it worked beautifully. So I hope this video helps you. Again, there are many videos on my channel that will help you get started with Salesforce. There's a 10 day course on CRM analytics. And if you like this content, do follow me on Instagram where I post smaller videos. And of course, check out uh, YouTube for longer form videos. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.